as soon as this recording starts. Okay, now it's started. Um, I just figured we'd do some review today before we start learning something new, you know, with Mrs. Jones. I just figured we'd work with decimals, multiplication, um, subtraction, and addition, you know, just a whole bunch of review. Um, before you start learning something new, I figured review was the way to go. I hope all of you had a lovely break. I'm sure it was too short. Mine was too short. Hopefully you guys got to eat some good food. Um, yeah, so hopefully that was, uh, you know, good times. But um, we're just going to do a few problems at a time. Make sure you are working out the problems with me. Mrs. Kneifel knows how to do all this. I'm doing this for you. I want to see what you guys need help with. If you have any questions, make sure you stop me and ask me. Any more? Anything else anyone needs to say before I get started? No, you may not go back to hibernation right now. We're doing math class while we're doing. Mia, what's up? I think Mrs. Jones is making us retake the test. Oh, I thought you guys already did that. Maybe we did. I probably forgot. No, we're doing that on Tuesday. Oh, you're doing that on Tuesday. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, then let's just do some multiplication. Why are you eating ice cream? It is 9 a.m. in the morning. Well, I'm eating um stir fry. And There's I'm no eating. specific time for any type of food. It's just food every time. Okay. Whatever you say. All right, multiplication problem coming your way. Work it out. I want to see your work. I want to see that you know how to do it. Okay. All right. So Mrs. Kneifel is going to set this up. So it was 38.9 times 1.5. So I'm just going to set it up right here. Remember, this is multiplication. Okay. You do not line up the decimals. Coincidentally, they just line up in this problem. But Mrs. Kneifel always counts them out. So I know how many to put it back in. And in this case, it is two. Five times nine is 45. Carry my four. Five times eight is 40. Plus four is 44. Put my four down here and carry my other four. Five times three is 15 plus four, which is 19. Now I need to drop in a zero. One times nine is nine. One times eight is eight. One times three is three. And then I have to add it up. Five plus zero is five. Nine plus four is 13. Carry my one. Nine plus eight is 17. Plus one is 18. Carry my one. Three plus one is four. Plus one is five. Put my decimal in two spots. Mrs. Kneifel got 58 and 30. 500s. 58 and 3500s. Anyone else? Yes, no, maybe so. See, look at there. I see so many right answers. Now, on your test, you also need to get right answers. Okay? Yeah. I need you guys to get right answers on your tests. 
you guys do so good in math RTI. I don't understand why we don't like kick butt on our tests because you guys do so good here. All right. Hold on, I'm writing a word problem. Okay, I bought six shirts for $12.63 a piece. How much did I spend? I bought six shirts at $12.63 a piece. Six shirts. $12.63 a piece. How much did I spend? All right, so this is a word problem. You had to read it. So all I have to do, I, I haven't even started, peeps. All I have to do is find my two numbers. There's two numbers in here. 1263 times six, because that's how many times I bought the same thing. Six times three is 18, carry my one. Six times six is 36 plus one is 37, carry my three. Six times two is 12, plus three is 15. Carry my one. Six times one is six, plus one is seven. So I got $75.78. But what if now I have a coupon for 15% off? So I have $75.78, but now I have a coupon for 15% off. So now I need to know how much I spent. So remember, you're going to do 7, 8 point, you're going to do 75 and 78 hundredths times 0.15. Find the answer, then subtract it from our original problem. So right now, you're going to find out how much I spent if I had 15% off coupon, okay? Mrs. Can I have, well, after we multiply, do we then subtract it? What we yep. get? Okay. So remember, your problem will look like this. Multiply it, and then whatever answer you get, you're going to subtract it from the original number, okay? Mrs. Can I have, had a coupon. Love a coupon. Can't go wrong with a coupon. Coupon. Anyone get any good Black Friday deals? 
My mom used Black Friday for Christmas shopping, so I couldn't come with. Uh, that's good. I wasn't allowed to go Black Friday shopping even when I was a kid either because that's when my mom would buy Christmas presents. So. Um, we usually don't go Black Friday shopping. Only sometimes. It's very rare. My mom did it too this year, Mia, and I know how you feel, but I'm not allowed to go every year, even if she doesn't Christmas shop, because of all the chaos. Because without COVID, it, it would have been a lot more chaotic, my parents said. Yeah, it was actually pretty. But I went, at, but I went like in the afternoon at like one or two in the afternoon. And the stores I went to, I went to like Joanne Fabrics and Kohl's. And I didn't even have to wait in a line to check out. It was like pretty empty. But that's because of COVID. And of course, I wore my mask. I used hand sanitizer. I didn't touch anyone, you know. But um, I just went to those stores and then I went home. For, yeah, for some stores, they get your, your number or your email, and they'll put it on the list. I know it was for Walmart. They had my parents come back home for an hour, and then at 5 o'clock, they were like, we need you here in about 15 minutes if you want to actually get in the store and shop because there's a limit of people. So now they have a list of the names and the people for Black Friday shopping on who gets in, what time, when, who's next. Right on. All right, math time. Sorry, I know I get distracted. You are figuring out how much I spent if I had $75.78 for my 12 t or my six t-shirts, but then I had a 15% off coupon. How much did it cost? How much did I end up spending? Mrs. Knifel needs to plug in her Chromebook. All right. It's okay if you're not totally finished. No big deal. We're going to work it out together. So, so, for this one, you have to round. Oh, see? Mm, we're going to practice that. All right. So the first thing Mrs. Kneipel always does is I take it out, my decimal, so I can put it back in. It comes out four spots. So I'm just going to circle a four right there so I know for later. Five times eight is 40. Put in my zero. Carry my four. Five times seven is 35. Plus four is 39. My nine goes below. My three is carried. Five times five is 25. Plus three is 28. Carry my two. Five times seven is 35. Plus two is 37. I have to drop in a zero now. One times eight is eight. One times seven is seven. One times five is five. And one times seven is seven. Now I got to add it up. Zero plus zero is zero. 9 plus 8 is 17, carry my 1. Um, 8 plus 7 plus 1 is 16, carry my 1. 7 plus 5 is 12, plus 1 is 13, carry my 1, 10, 11. And then I got to put my decimal in four spots. 1, 2, 3, 4. So my answer is $11.3670. Okay, well, uh, that's not change, remember? So what you have to do is start at your last number in the decimal, zero. Okay, well, zero, zero, so it's not going to change the number next to it. So I'm going to cross out my zero. My next number is seven. That seven is above five. So that seven is going to change the six to a seven. So how much am I going to take off? $11.37, okay? That's how much is going to be subtracted from our original number. So now I have 75 and 78 cents minus 1137. Eight minus seven is one. Seven minus three is four. Five minus one is four. And seven minus one is six. So my answer is $64.41. That's how much it costs for my six t-shirts. Mrs. Kneifel, uh, I got it wrong because for my multiplication, I didn't multiply by one at all, just five. So I'm trying to redo it and see what my answer is. You got to do it by the one, too. There's two numbers. It's just like normal multiplication. Okay? So it cost me, in the end of that big old long problem, I ended up spending $64.41 on six t-shirts. Okay? We're going to do another problem just like that, but with different numbers. Okay? We're going to do it in the two steps again, though. We're going to do the multiplication part first, uh, then we'll do the um, uh, blah, 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 sale later. So, right time here, Abigail, or get some more paper. All right, so let's say I bought um, 
what's what's something I could buy? I'm gonna buy eight rolls of wrapping paper for one dollar and eighty seven cents a piece, okay? Okay, so you, I brought eight rolls of wrapping paper for $1.87 a piece. So how much did I spend on the wrapping paper? You're going to find this answer first. Uh, then we're going to find, um, I'm going to tell you what discount we got. But right now, eight rolls of wrapping paper for $1.87. That is the problem you are currently working on. Don't have to show me yet. Just wait it out. A few other people are still working. You need to be far and free my soul. I want to get lost in your rock and roll and drift away. Mrs. Clyfield did buy wrapping paper over break, but, uh, it did not cost this much. All right. So what do you have to do? Well, I have to take my number, $1.87 times the eight rolls I bought, right? Right, right, right. So seven times eight is 56. Carry my five. Eight times eight is 64. Plus five is 69. Eight times one is eight plus six, 14. My decimal needs to go in two spots. So it cost me $14.96 for my wrapping paper. Oh, I'm dropping stuff. But, but what if Mrs. Kneifel had a 25% discount? So now I need to figure out how much you spent. I have a 25% discount of $14.96. 25% discount. Mrs. Kneifel digging through her purse, found a coupon. That's what happened. Yep. Found myself a coupon. Mrs. Kneifel, do you make 25 a decimal? Yes. Just like how we made 15 a decimal. You make 25 a decimal. Same okay. Thing. So your new problem looks like this. I want to know how much I spent. Ba, 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 ba. Mrs. Kneifel. Missed you guys, in case you're wondering. All right. So. Can we have one more minute? I'm almost done. Yes. Sure. Because remember, it originally cost me 
$14.96. But then Mrs. Knackle digging around in her purse, guess what? She found a coupon, which is for 25% um, percent off. So I'm going to take out my decimal, four spots, so I know where to put it in later. Five times six is 30. Carry my three. Five times nine is 45 plus three is 48. Carry my four. Five times four is 20 plus four is 24. Five times one is five plus two is seven. Drop in my zero. Um, <clears throat> two times six is 12. Carry my one. Two times nine is 18 plus one is 19. Carry my one. One, two times four is eight plus one is nine. Two times one is two. Now I got to add them up. Zero plus zero is zero. Two plus eight is 10. Carry my one. Nine plus four plus one is 14. Carry my one. Nine plus seven is 16 plus one is 17. Carry my one. Three, two plus one is three. Put my decimal in four spots and I got $3.74. So you're like, okay, Mrs. Kleinfeld, well, it's going to be $3.74 off. So then what do I have to do? I got to subtract. I have $14.96 minus $3.74, which is 2, 2, 1, 1. $11.22. That's how much I spent on my rolls of wrapping paper. $11.22. Do you remember the price of your actual wrapping paper that you bought? I got it from Joanne Fabrics and it was buy one, get three free. So it was $5.99 for four rolls of wrapping paper. So that was okay. a good deal. Yeah, it was a good deal. I was pretty pumped. All right. Woot. $11.22, which would be a good deal too. Yes, Miss Paisley. Um, my Grammy told my mom that. There was these snow boots that I would like, and they were get one, buy one for a dollar. Oh, right on. It was Black Friday. Yeah, I got um, I got a few deals on Black Friday. You know what? Actually, in reading class, remind me, I'm going to tell you all what I got. It wasn't on Black Friday, but me and my husband bought something this weekend. I'm going to tell you what it was. Mia, I don't know. You know it, because I said it in the email. Don't tell anyone. Okay. I'll tell you guys at reading what Mrs. Kneifel got. It's exciting. All right. We got time for one more problem of multiplication. It's not a puppy. I already have a puppy. I, have it. I, I'm not I saw it. I remember seeing it. It's not a puppy. That's not what we bought. We already have a puppy. All right, we're not guessing. I'll tell you guys in reading class. Just remind me. And I'll show you a picture too. All right, last problem of multiplication. Let's do... All right. Hold on. Changing it up. It is going to be 56 times 38. No, 56 and 38 hundredths times 32 and 5 tenths. This is going to be a longer problem. Give me the beat, boys, and free my soul. Mrs. Kneifel just missed you guys so much. It's not, no, don't guess. I'm going to tell you guys later. Why does that have to do anything with singing? <laughs> I just enjoy singing, okay? Miss Kneifel, would that be like 0.5, like as in like 0 0.05 or as in 0.5, just 5. Okay. I was just going to look for something on my computer. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. <laughs>
All right, we're almost out of time. It's okay if you're not finished. We're just going to do it together, okay? Because we're just almost out of time. I don't want to roll out of time. So, and Mrs. Kneifel needs to plug in her Chromebook, okay? So, five times, well, the first thing Mrs. Kneifel does, I take out my decimal. One, two, three. Circle my three over here so I know how many to put it in later. Five times eight is 40. Carry my four. Five times three is 15 plus four is 19. Carry my one. Five times six is 30 plus one is 31. Carry my three. Five times five is 25 plus three is 28. Drop in my zero. Two times eight is 16. Carry in my one. Two times three is six plus one is seven. Two times six is 12. Carry my one. Two times five is 10 plus one is 11. Now I got to drop in two zeros. Zero, zero. Three times eight is 24. No. Yeah. Four. Carry my two. Three times three is nine plus two is 11. Three times six is 18 plus one is 19. Carry. Three times five is 15 plus one is 16. Now I got to add it all up. Zero plus everything, zero plus zero plus zero is zero. Nine plus six plus zero is 15. Carry my one. Seven plus four plus one is 11, 12. Plus one is 13. Carry. Eight plus two is 10. Plus two is 12. Carry. 10, 11, 13. Carry. Mrs. Kneifel got 1,832,350. Anyone else get that? Looks like me and Mia got the same thing. All right. Make sure you are paying extra close attention in math class today, especially if you guys are going to retake the test tomorrow. Do your personal best. I will see you guys in reading class really shortly. Have a great 10 minutes and I'll see you in a few. Okay. Goodbye. Leave me. I'll see you soon. Bye. I'll see you in 10 minutes. Everyone better be there. Be square.